very good evening to you and thank you so much once again for sticking to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and I am your host this evening on the Power Talk Show. This is the show where we bring you informative information that will transform your life and hopefully improve it for the better. And this evening, our conversation is centered on one thing that affects every single individual on the face of the earth. We want to understand how can we build long-lasting relationships. If we want to get to marriage, what are the steps we have to take to get there? So our, our conversation is very focused on building lasting relationships that hopefully transform into marriage. And joining me live on set today is Catherine Karira, a teens and a youth mentor. Karibu Catherine. Thank you. You look lovely this evening. Oh, glory to God. Amen. I feel honored to be here this ah, hour. We are honored to host you as yes. well. Mm. And right next to Catherine, we have Alan Lawrence, who is a mentor as well and an author. Now, Alan, I've learned that you wear many hats. Yes. yes. As I'm getting to know our guests, they are very well versed in matters regarding relationships. They have been talking to the youth specifically for years and years on how they can nurture their personal relationships and interpersonal relationships with other people that hopefully transform into marriage. So I want to engage with you as we progress with this conversation. And the way you can do that is you can go on our social media platforms, which is at Y254. On Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, we have a post up. New Swali. If you have a comment, you can write your comments and let us know what do you think? I want to talk to you, and you can find me on my personal pages, which is at Cheryl Blessing. So I think to kickstart the conversation, it's right for us to start from getting to know each other. When two people are getting to know each other, hoping to start a relationship, what are some of the factors that they should consider? What should they be looking out for? And what should they also have within themselves that allow them to build lasting relationships. Catherine, what Thank do you, you. think? Uh, as, we, as we talk about two people, we have to clear the air. These two people must be a male and a female. We know we are in that generation where we think a boy and a boy can go to a relationship. So we, are, we need to agree together that uh, we are talking about a woman and a man. And the question is, what are we going to look into? Before even we look into, we have to be matured. And human brains do not mature until we are 24. And when you look at the word relationship, it's taking us somewhere cheap. It can take us somewhere. So even as you enter into this relationship, are you going in for marriage or do you want just to shake a leg together and feel nice? Because I know now we are there where people want the money and they want to come in for it. But you look, you're talking about building a long-term relationship. Number one, you have to be very committed. You have to be very devoted. And you have to be willing that this relationship is going to ship me into marriage. And when that time comes, stay in the marriage. And I can advocate for marriage. Personally, I've been married for 27 years. And my best couple, they have been married for 35 years. My parents have been married for 68 years, marriage denial. So marriage works. But for it to, to work, you have to ensure that you come in on the right footing with the right foundation. And people will ask me, Catherine, how do I know that my foundation is right? I'm a Christian yeah. blessing. And it is important for our viewer to do something I call spiritual mapping. Take a journey back. See yourself. And also get to know you're not just getting married because people are saying, hey, miaka imeeda get married. You want to get married because you want to stay into it. So even as you look out, I know that you normally say the seven park, eleven park, you know, you, you <laughs> fall in love with what you see, but you live with the character. Yes. So even as you're feeling, I normally say feeling paragasha, even as you're <laughs> feeling paragasha, make sure that this character of this gentleman, you can live with it. And not only live with it, wake up every morning from the same bed for years together yes true mm. thank you that is very well said because you've really touched on the major aspects mm -hmm. male and female union yes. that's what yes. we are advocating for yes. 
and you have to be mature because so many people these days get into marriage at 18 mm -hmm. 19 20 <laughs> and they're married with children yeah. so you have to be mature and understand that this is something that i want to have long term mm -hmm. so lawrence in addition to that how do you as an individual become ready for a relationship how can you prepare yourself oh, thank you one thing we all, we all need to agree is that uh, before even you think of a life partner get a life a relationship is not a garage whereby you come and think that you'll be led on think and consider a relationship when you are mature as she has said and also think of a relationship when you are a package when you are all so that whenever you get into this relationship this person will not take you as if you are doing uh, as if they are doing you a favor but because you are coming in as an equal partner you understand you are coming in not to compete but to complement each other to grow each other so the the uh, the prime thing here you, you also need to consider is um, what is the goal of this re relationship how long are we going to date because don't date for you for infinity we should have timelines who are we you know, it is so sad that today when you ask someone, we are dating, who are we? They will tell you, we are Kenyans. <laughs> we, are Kenyans. <laughs> we, are Kenyans. we are humans. <laughs> you understand? So some people are using a relationship as a rescue mission from themselves. So they are not comfortable in their own skin. That is why you'll see a young girl or a young man going for a relationship, so that they can be able to run away from their financial responsibilities. Mm -hmm. So people need to be whole. That's the, that's the point. You need to be whole. Are you, uh, can you stand on your own? And how single are you? Some people, are, uh, they are single, yes, but they are not single. They are not making independent decisions. You find someone is still, uh, for them to make any d decision, they are still lingering on the problems of their mothers. Mm. You see, it is so sad. How single are you? Yes, you can be single, but how independent are you? Yes. yes. And you have to be an individual rooted within yourself yes. who knows my spiritual goals, my physical goals, my emotional goals, and have everything in balance. Yes. That's what you're saying. And it's a partnership. Another ship, <laughs> as Catherine has said. <laughs> you have to be aware mm -hmm. of what ship you want mm -hmm. to be in. Mm -hmm. So that being said, you mentioned earlier, as we're having a conversation before, when to get out of a relationship. Because if I'm trying to, to get married, if I'm dating to marry, mm -hmm. but I've been with a guy for two, three years, mm -hmm. and there is no sign of us getting there, no sign of a proposal, how do you know if this is the partner that you can spend the rest of your life with or when to leave if this is not the partner? Before you know about the other partner, are you ready for it yourself? You have said some of us are getting married at 18 and that you have said they are not mature yet. So you have to agree with yourself and have a goal, as he has said, when it, do I want to get married? Because I know there's peer pressure from aunties. They look at you and they say, hey, you, who you yeah. So do not give in to that peer pressure. Call yourself into a meeting, agree with yourself that I want to marry. Let me say like a, a young lady, I personally married at 29 years. So call yourself a meeting, agree this is the way you want to go. Then as you look for the other person, know that dating, and I want to say it now very forthright, that sex is not love. Mm. And love is not sex. So even as we are dating, let us not start with sex. Because we have now a society that is crying, that is battered, because we started with, the, with sex. And what is this sex? Sex is not a gift to give to your boyfriend. Sex is a gift to give to your husband. Mm. So we have to make sure that we lay the right foundation. And it's good tell the girl this morning, this evening, sorry, that you cannot keep a relationship by sex. If you have that boyfriend for sex, he will do it with everybody else. Mm. And you know, blessings are unfortunate. The, un the men are doing it with animals, with other men. Mm. They are also masturbating. So Could what you need to do, value yourself. You, you are very expensive. When expensive is treated as cheap, it cheapens. Yes. So you must make sure that uh, you, you, you upgrade your value. You carry yourself with integrity. As you're looking for this partner, have a list of 10 things that uh, you must do with. Then out of that 10 things, compromise on five that you can modify. Then these five, make sure that you don't compromise on. Like number one, as a Christian, I knew to marry a man that is born again was my right. I never prayed for that. I knew that is coming. So get to know the five ones. And then do not get married because you're feeling lonely. 
Because marriage will not cure the loneliness. You have to accept yourself, package yourself for this long-lasting relationship. And then you cannot date for five years. You're not doing a degree. <laughs> you have to agree with yourself when you want to exit singlehood. And I won't repeat that. For we girls, because you're the ones at age earlier, and menopause nowadays is even coming as early as 35, you have to know when to exit. When the girls are young, 26, 28, 29 there, you have a lot of boys that want to say hi, hi, hi. And then you feel so nice. You have a figure. And you imagine that the hi, hi is going to be there all through. Wait until you hit that too. You have hit the career line. You're doing very well. You're driving a big car. Your, your age mates have settled with their families. And unfortunately now, because you have compromised, we have the daddy mamas, the baby mamas, the daddy babies. So <laughs> we, 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 are, we are confused and you feel like you're left out. It is important for us to know that there will always be somebody who you can attract. Yes. But for we, women, again, we have to know that dressing with almost nothing. You know how you dress with, I normally call it kura kwa macho. <laughs> you will attract people that will kura you. So you mm. must make sure <laughs> that you cover, uh, you cover, <laughs> you cover the private moments. I like okay. the way you're very open with the conversation. <laughs> but my passion in life, mm. blessing my passion in life is to make our children know before they wish they knew. True. So I have to openly do Discuss what I normally call my talk a hot talk, where I'm very honest, where I'm very open and very truthful. We yes. go back to the dressing of kura kwa macho. Mm. If you're dressing na kura kwa macho. Of course, you're going to get men that will eat with their eyes and their bodies. Mm -hmm. So you have to carry yourself as a wife material. Mm -hmm. I'm sure Alan can agree with me. No man wants to marry a girl who's behind is being seen by every other man. True. Yeah. And that's also, that's in addition to you knowing yourself as an yes. individual, yes. you packaging yourself. Because whether we like it or not, the way you present yourself is the first impression you will give people. Yes. Before they get to know, she's christian she goes to church she does this they will see your dressing they mm. will see the way you carry yourself mm. and present yourself before people so we have agreed it is important for you to know yourself, yourself. learn what you need value yourself, value yourself before committing mm. now after we've known ourselves alan what are maybe some of the qualities that we should look for? Because she's just touched on a few, but what qualities should we look for in a long-term partner? In addition to what, what she just said, it is so sad that my generation, what we tend to do is waste our singlehood <coughs> anticipating marriage. So we don't enjoy the moment. You need to understand that singlehood is not a, a, a jail term that you have to serve. It is in your singlehood. Even the Bible talks of it is when you are single, uh, it is easier for you to serve the Lord. It is easier for you to do a lot of things. So you must enjoy and maximize your singlehood in a positive way. Because if you are a lonely single, believe me, you again in marriage, you'll still be lonely. True. So you ought to be very much comfortable. What are you doing in this time? Because I believe dating, or rather this time of a relationship, when we are starting to date, dating is like a, a, a ship. It's like a bus we are using. We are using to transit to this next dimension. So in this process of dating, this is a moment for you to get to converse with this person. 99% of what happens in dating, it is a conversation. So people need to date with their clothes on. Because the moment you, the moment you get, get intimate, you know, it's like you're starting from the end coming to the, toward the beginning. That is why most people today, especially ladies, when a heartbreak happens, they get so much frustrated. Why? Because they gave it all. They slept with this person. They gave them their honor to this person. And yet this person did not qualify for it. So let this person win you into, like, they need to show you a bigger vision for you to be able to come as a helper. Remember, you are coming to help this person. So what is the vision? What is the goal? Who are you? Who are, you know, all those kind of things. So if you cannot clearly answer who I am, then people will give, you, you are giving people power to be able to define you. So back to what you are just saying, the most important thing you need to have in mind is you are looking at spending the rest of your life with this person. You understand? And uh, there are two dimensions here. For a man, <coughs> the older I grow, the more my, my, my dating range increases. But for a lady, the, the older you grow, the, the, the little your, your dating range 
become crisis. So you understand. So you have to be, do not be in a rush because I believe when you rush, you crash. So at this yes. particular time, look at the, some of the things you can be able to compromise. Look at some of the things you will never compromise. So let us have this discussion from the very, very, very onset. And uh, the paramount thing, especially we are having this discussion as a Christian, because I love you doesn't know, doesn't guarantee that this relationship will be long lasting. Yes. My love for God and my personal integrity plays a major role. Because cheating and, and loving a person is a personal decision. And it's about my personal integrity. So how is this person? Because I believe if, if a crocodile in Africa will still be a crocodile even if you take it to America. You understand? Yes. So how is this person treating their singlehood? Watch them. How do this person treat a wait in the hotel? How do this person treat even their mother? She'll tell you a lot of things. And especially for us boys, I, I, I was somewhere and these women were praying, saying that I pray that I, I the, like I should not find my mother-in-law, she should die. You understand? Oh. Yes. It was so sad because people believe that maybe the, the, the mother-in-law will mistreat them. Yeah. So you need to understand how is their relationship with even their mother? How is their relationship with the authority figures? Because a person who is under authority will always be a person of authority. You are dating this person and this person doesn't have any person they reference. It is a time bomb. This yeah. person, there is no person you can be able to report this person to. Then there is a problem. Because a true person and a true, a true man is a man who is submissive. Have they shown you who, who, is, who is mentoring them? Who is their pastor? Those mm. are more critical questions. Those are important, important to consider. Yeah. And you see the way we've been discussing the importance of individualism. Yes, yes. If I set a standard for myself, if I know myself, yes. then it's easy for me to yes. qualify or disqualify someone who comes to court me. Mm -hmm. So that being said, it's been a very good introduction. We'll take a very short break and as we are going on a break, I want you at home <laughs> Y254 on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Newly Zeswali, write me a comment that you have and share an opinion that you think will be informative in this discussion. So stay tuned to Y254 TV. My name is Cheryl Blessing and this is Power Talk.